How to use a colorimeter in biology. Colorimeters are used for a wide variety of applications in the chemical and biological fields. So in A-level biology, you will use them for required practicals. So RP1, which is the rate of enzyme controlled reactions. RP4, investigating cell membrane permeability in beetroot cells. RP11, measuring the concentration of glucose using a calibration curve. So you may also use them for exploring other rates of reaction and preparing serial dilutions. So what is colorimetry? Well, it measure, the measurements are made by using a light which passes through a color filter. The light then passes through a little uh, box called a cuvette with the chemical in it. And the light leaving the actual sample should be less than the light that actually entered the compound. And it's detected by a photocell. So how can it be used in enzyme catalyzed reactions? Well, um, this involves color change. So for example, iodine will change color. Um, so as the color breaks down, the transmission increases or light absorption decreases. And this can be used to measure the rate of reaction. For example, a colorimeter can be used to follow the progress of a starch amylase catalyzed reaction as the amylase breaks the starch or hydrolyzes the starch down into maltose, meaning that it, the iodine that you would have contained goes from blue, black to brown. Colorimeter units. So there are two units we're going to look at. First of all is absorbance, uh, which is um, a unit measure of the amount of light that passes through a volume of liquid from a specific wavelength relative relative to the maximum possible amount of light available at that wavelength. So this is measuring the amount of light absorbed by the sample. Secondly is the percentage transmission. So this just measures the percentage of light that travels through a sample. So you can see on the graphs, there's kind of a, um, with absorbance, it's, it's probably a better measure as it's more linear. Um, but you can see incre absorbance increases as the concentration, of, um, basically as the concentration increases, you get a higher absorption. Whereas um, with transmittance, the greater the concentration, the lower the percentage of light that travels through the sample. So if all the light passes through a solution without any absorption, then absorbance is zero and percentage transmittance is 100%. So if all the light is absorbed, then percent transmittance is zero and absorbance is infinite. Hi everybody, uh, we've got a, a colorimeter here. It's the CO7500 colorimeter by WPA and it's very easy to use. So I'm just gonna show you how we can use it. So. What I've done is I've done some serial dilutions here. So imagine they are beetroot pigments. So this model is quite useful um, because it has different wavelengths of um, different types of colors, color wavelength slides, and you can literally just whiz through. So for the one I'm gonna use for red, so I'm gonna use a green, um, slide and then you just place your tube into that slot so there we go okay so let's have another look so my reference so place that in press r and it should be zero okay my next dilution press t and it's 0 0.7 Next dilution. So these could be results from, uh, for example, looking at beetroot pigments that have um, been produced at different temperatures. So looking at the effects on the cell membrane of beetroot. 0 0.82 and then the final one. And that is 2.00. So that's as far as it will go. Um, so there you go. So you can plot that on a graph, okay? Um, and also this is quite useful because it has a way that you can um, follow results in real time. So for example, 
If I have um, a cuvette, for example, and the cuvette, cuvette contains starch, amylase, and iodine, I can place it in. Okay, I would do a reference first, actually. So let's do the reference first. So just press R, and then pre press the cuvette in, and there we go, and start. I'm going to do percentage transmission here. Okay, and you'll be able to see the change in percentage transmission. So there we go, there we have the colorimeter.